Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a brand new episode of I'm taking off my metal shit immediately because screw that. Seriously, this is the second time you've exited a shrine into a thunderstorm. The game hates me, yo. I think this has been established. The only thing that would make this worse is if you saw a star fragment during this thunderstorm. Hey, do I have level two on this armor yet? No. You're missing... You're missing a lot. Actually, you're missing a second fairy. You haven't found one. Oh, yeah. I, uh, it's, uh, okay. That's fair. Restless Kraken. Spoilers, there's more than one great fairy. <gasps> really? I would oh, never my have God. I'd never figure that out. It's not like she says it or anything. There's five. There's five, isn't there? There's 906. Good luck finding them all. They're like Koroks, only there's way more of them. <laughs> Seriously, though, if there were that many of those, the whole map would be covered in freaking... There would be no more room for anything else. There would just be shrines everywhere. Shrines to fairy number 906. They don't get visited much. She's forgotten a lot. I don't have to travel far, but... Why not just oh. take a horse anyway? I got freaking two of them! <laughs> You know what's even better about that? When I take one out, I can just take the other one out to make the other one go back in. Yep. So he basically has an endless horse system. I have an endless... I can summon Epona at any time, basically, Ooh. from any stable. Ah. Since I have two of the exact same horse! <laughs> it's, our, it's our horse, of course. Until your horse gets struck by lightning. Don't don't you dare. Yeah, don't Robert. dare, Robert. Please don't. Have you have yeah. had enough of that by now? I'm going to that tower! Yay! Yes, that is where I'm going? Yes. Exploration. Because, you know, story progress is for suckers. Auto horse, dang it. There we go. So, uh, read any good books lately? Actually, book any good reds lately? No, I haven't been reading too many books. Although I have started the Bone comic book again. And Robert, I finally got Robert to read it. Bone. <laughs> Sounds like a porno. It does. <laughs> but at least I got you to it's read it. So dumb. But you like it? No, I mean the the, the title. Oh, the yeah. title is dumb. I'm up the tower. That was really fast. Um, careful. Careful what? This is tar. Yeah. You no said even so much as one foot in it, you gurgle to death. Oops! I stepped a foot in it. I didn't gurgle. I'll start gurgling. <laughs> Thank you. You gurgle. Hey, there's a giant iron box here. You should swing that into somebody's face. Maybe you should have worn the mask. It's alright, he's got a giant iron box. Squish that son of a gun! <laughs> nice shot! <laughs> I am the greatest! <laughs> nice work, dingus! <laughs> Wow, that was... You whiffed, and then he whiffed. <laughs> and he was never seen again. Amazing. Um. Glub, glub. Oh, hey, lightning, uh, lightning, uh, Lizalfos. Ow! Hey, at least it wasn't a, uh, bolt of lightning he Also, shot how can these things survive in the tar? That's, Wait, that's literally I ass. will point out, Robert, there are ones that swim in lava. That's just weird. Also, this is barely doing any damage. At least they're very slowly killing him. Die faster, you plebeian! But I didn't have to worry about him shooting me. I'd just drop a block on him, but, you know, it's kind of too late for that. Dead. If I didn't kill him, though, he would electrify the hell out of me when I stand on these. So... It's kind of oh, important to murder him. Oh, hey, is that a Dragon Bone Boko Club? Do I have a picture of one of those? Do I even have a picture of that thing I just killed? Oh, it's a Dragon Bone Boko bat. I'm really bad at this Metroid Prime scanning stuff. For a guy who says he's great at it. Well, this isn't Metroid Prime. 36 damage, that's not bad. 36? I think uh, you've got better stuff. Not a lot better. Actually, that Claymore could go. Bye! Bye 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 now. I really can't wait to get level 2 on this. Especially since you almost jumped yourself back down to the bottom. Level 2 is going to be amazing, yo. You don't even know. Oh, yeah. Uh, yellow jump! Yellow jump! YOLO yellow jumpo. By the way, we haven't stated it before, but when it's in the red, your last jump is twice the height. Just to give you that extra chance to make it. 
Blow him up! I intend to. You little bastard! <laughs> well, who did that? Get wrecked, yo. And this is going to hurt. I got knocked back again, but no damage. I'll take it. Teach you to be an asshole. And now you will be an asshole to this guy. Um. Fire ah! There and goes the sword. Dead. Good night, Gracie. Oh, hey, Ooh. you got Moblin guts. What I get? What I get? Bomb arrows. Always useful. Oh. Have you got a picture of him yet? Also, I just noticed Wizrobes aren't as annoying in this game as they are in most games. That's because in most games they teleport. That's just weird looking. <laughs> Look at his face! What oh face? dear god, that face! Hey Robert, it's awful. Oh yeah, he's terrifying. If you look him in the face, it's like super creepy. Seriously, it's awful. I was trying to get a picture of that fire rod, yo. You know what I love about ice and fire whiz ropes? Insta dead. You know what I love about lightning whiz ropes? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Lightning enemies can sit on and spin. <laughs> I should not have made that, but I did! Oh boy. Okay, how high is this one? Oh, no, that's easy. Oh yeah. Jump! Jump! Climb a few feet. Jump again. Alright, now for the hard part. Dang it! Which you have just made harder for yourself. Uh, I'm the smeartest. Luckily, you do have some stamina restoring stuff, so... Maybe one left? I don't know. Don't you have a few that give you bonus wheels? Um... I don't know. I'll make it, though. It doesn't matter. Oh, yeah. Maybe? Okay. Good job! He didn't grab the ledge like he's supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> hey, by the way, that bird formation back there, it's not tangible. I've seen it go straight through a mountain. <laughs> really? Well, what is this, the forest? That's, that's <laughs> ambience for you. Who needs realism? Uh, uh real world simulator? <laughs> Watch the birds bounce off the mountain. Real world simulator would be an awful idea. Did you, did you see it? It's just a foot just went through the tower. Yeah, that was amazing. I want to know what this is made out of. Decentanium. I will say this though, Real World Simulator would actually be pretty cool if it was actually to scale. If you could literally go anywhere in the world. Because I would totally go sightseeing without ever leaving my house. Topaz! Alright. Time to activate a new tower. And to see just what's around us. I mean, you can almost do that with Google Maps, but, you know, you have to actually have somebody who's taking the pictures. You, you want to know what's funny? What? The, uh, the map that shows you locations and everything is, is a Google Maps. <laughs> <laughs> the map that you can look up online with the location and everything in this game, which I'm totally not using right now. No, 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 not at all. It has a Google logo right in the bottom left. Totally didn't use it to find the last, like, 20 shrines I was missing when I played on Wii U. Totally didn't use the map to find out his route when we started. Yeah, I totally could have used the map from my Wii U copy just as easily. Actually, that, that, getting off the Wii U version would We have longer. opened up the Lost Woods region. Ooh. Regional map extracted, baby. Please take your change. I totally wasn't planning on going to a memory that's like located right here and then gliding down to this tower and then said screw it and went here anyway. That, that wasn't the plan all along at all. Especially since you would have had to have climbed a mountain to do it. Yeah. A mountain that may or may not have been death. A mountain that would be pain to climb without level 2 climbing oh, here. What's this? Oh, that's hey, a look. Royal Claymore. Claymore. You are now a. You have pulled a sword out of the stone. A chink. <laughs> stuff. Also, I really love how they based all of their high-level weaponry off of how the Master Sword looks to an extent. There's nothing I really want to get rid of. Get rid of your giant boomerang. Or you can get rid of the Silver Sword. Silver Sword? Oh, eh. That's about to break anyway. <laughs> Wait, do I have a picture of the Silver Sword? There's one way to find out. Silver Longsword. Picture. Oh! <laughs> That's 
That's definitely gonna break when it. No, it didn't. Wow. Okay. Anyway, destination. Over there. I have a Korok mask to get and a Hess to the visit. Okay. Let us go. I, I wanted you to look at it for longer. There's like big ass like Sakura looking trees in there. Can it punch hard? No. Try just drops pretty leaves. Hi, Pona. Gotta just right here. Nope. Right here. There your we go. Your finger twitched right as you let go of the paraglider. Tell me, Pona, we must go into the forest. Actually, you're gonna have to leave her behind. Bullshit tank to that. Yeah. You're coming with me. Okay, maybe you can't take her with you. I don't know. I've never Dude. tried. Did you forget those pictures I took the other day? Oh, right. That's of the nice. thing that I took in here? Because I could, and why the hell not? Which I'm not speaking of right now because I don't want to ruin it. I haven't made it to that point in the game yet. Uh, well, oh, hey, actually, ashes. this is a completely open game. I could go there at any time. Remember but it what doesn't the old matter. Man said about wind blowing this way and that? Yeah, that's how you're going to find your way through this place. Just follow the sparks from the. From the torches. They and the will... wind will change direction depending on which torch you're standing at. That fox almost got run over. <laughs> Alright, let's pick up the pace here. Yeah, it's not like he doesn't already know how to get through here. But now comes a slightly difficult part. Also, we heard about a Korok mask. We may be looking for that. Let's see here. Should be like straight off in this way. No! That is the encroaching fog. If it envelops you, you get sent back to the start. Or actually, gets, <laughs> just get sent back to the two torches we just passed. Yeah. Technically, that's the, sp the start of this area. It's around here somewhere. Are you sure? Yeah. No! I got <laughs> lost, yeah. I got lost, guys. The forest is laughing at you. You are now... You are now a Stolfos. But since Epona was following me, I know an area that's safe to walk to. So that guy changed into a Stolfos. Does that mean we can get his hey. brush off? It didn't send us back to the normal spot. That's weird. Yeah. Every other time I got lost in that location and sent me there. Maybe, you maybe I got actually, too close to the edge. Maybe you didn't actually hit the checkpoint. Of course I did. I walked through it. Then don't ask me. Maybe the game just decided to troll you. If he's going straight for the thing, let's kill him. Ah, uh, let's see here. You I don't have a, I don't have room for torch. a torch. I was gonna pick yeah, this should be a torch. Yeah, it's right there. I just don't have room for it. Uh light your dragon boom boko bat on fire. Oh yeah, there you go. Okay, why not? Whoosh. No! Oh, it's not a good idea! And it's not flowing! <laughs> Robert, you're trying to have me set the forest on fire. Well, why not? If we burn it down, there can't be a Lost Woods anymore, can there? Haha. -ha. You thought she was going to get me, but she didn't. Also, the trees all have faces. I just wanted to point that out. I don't like it when my forests look at me. <laughs> the forest is very angry. And one of these trees around... No, I think that's like Death Mountain or something. Wait, is that a train? Oh, that's the that's castle. Old castle. Okay. And one of these trees around here, inside of its mouth, is a thing. It's a thing that I want. I want it. It's a chest that has Wait. things. Wait! Wrong button. I think I see it. There it is! Say EX? It does indeed. Da 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 da! Oh, a mask inspired by those fun-loving cricks. It shakes when I move the thing off of it. When one is hiding nearby, so this rare gem cannot be replaced! Rare gem, huh? So don't sell it. Seriously, they could have fixed that by making it unsellable. Come, Mipona, we must away! Here's your break of day. I wonder if I can outrun the fog to with her. To find our lost forgotten soul. Nope, did not run it. <laughs> well, what have we learned today, class? 
that horses can also get lost in the fog? Yes. And now we've hit the checkpoint. Hooray! Okay, I know the way through. It's just a little bit to the left. Fona, go right! And then to the right, pretty much just go straight there. I mean, that's not the way the torch wants you to go, but that way is acceptable. Hey, Pona! You will listen to your master! You will go this way! You will not get lost in the fog! You will not get spooked by trees! I want to be spooked by the trees. Can I be spooked by the trees in Yvonne's place? Now, I think we're here! I have made it! And I'm taking off this ridiculous mask! And putting on basic outfit. Putting on Robert's favorite gear. That's my favorite starting gear, definitely. There we go. But what is through here? Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z! It's funny, we have over 900 seconds left. <laughs> over 900 seconds? Korok Forest! Hooray! Oh my god, what is that? I'm pretty sure 60 times 9. It couldn't be! <gasps> Guys! I think I found the Master Torch! I'm pretty sure that 60 times 9 is only 540 seconds. Well, 5 minutes is 300 hey, seconds. Hey, Silent Princess, right at your feet. Dab, shut up. You and your math. Also, this is a good place to mm. find Silent Princesses. I think I'll take it! Huh? Link. You are a- SURPRISE MEMORIES! The fate of Hyrule rests with you! Kathunk. <gasps> what was that? Sword mm. spoke to me. Mm. Huh? Mm. Oh dear that god, that tree is speaking to me. Again. Well, this is not the ugly tree. Mm. Thank god it's not the great well, ugly tree well. from Wind Waker. It's you. You finally decided to return. Who are you, creepy old man tree? I've never met you before. After 100 years, I've nearly given up hope on seeing you again. Yeah, that's like 30 even years longer than the average human eye. Does he even have you. eyes? I don't see any. Well, they're there. He's a tree. Like I see eyes. Trees don't have eyes. The trees have eyes. The hills have eyes, but not the trees. I have watched over Hyrule. Since time immemorial, many have referred to me over the ages as the Deku Tree. Deku. That the is the tree. weapon created by the ancient goddess. The sword that seals the darkness that only the chosen knight can wield against the calamity. I had a dream the other night. I was playing the new DLC the that's not out yet, not. and Fee jumped out of the damn sword. Ah. Then I woke up in terror. <laughs> I like my Fee being back. But I must warn you to take I think Nolly was there too. Midna? Midna was cool, screw you. This is a test to anyone who would dare attempt to possess it. As you are now. I cannot say Man, this is one long winded tree. What? What? Shut up. You sought to free the sword in any Important exposition is important. Hey! State. Quit playing with your wood, it's inappropriate. Thank you. you Aw. <laughs> <laughs> Laugh at his inadequacy. <laughs> Best of luck, young one. What? I wasn't listening. Can I pull the sword now? Quit laughing at me! That's I can do it! Corox. I'll show you all! You know, that outfit really does look pretty cool. Hmm. Sword cares not for your physical might. It is moved by what lies within. It comes through vibrato and superficial enhancements. Only true strength can draw from a dressing place. The only way to know is what you have, if you have what it takes is to try. I'm full of asshole inside. Uh, maybe I should draw the sword. Also, something I should mention, it literally only matters that you have hearts. That's it. Yep. Yeah. Almost got it. Come again. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. You know you want me. Yeah. Enough. Okay. You would have lost your life if you hadn't released your grip on the sword. 
before you prepare before you try again. For I will not stay your hand part way through the next time. Okay, so we need more hearts. Let's see here. But how many do you need? I have enough for one more heart. Let's go get it! Isn't there a... Got a statue There's around here somewhere. somewhere. I the think father... it's inside the tree. Yeah, sounds right. Hmm. There it is. Is it? It was in between the inn and the shop. Aha! I knew there was one here somewhere. Yeah, I've got a lot of spirit orbs. I have literally never used this one, so I didn't know exactly where it was at. I knew it would be in the middle of the tree. That's Every major town has is. one, though. So, there had to be one here. And some are actually incredibly well hidden in plain sight. This is the one I couldn't find last, last time Robert hung out with me. That brings us up Go. to 12. And bring peace to high -end. Surely 12 is the best number. Mm, no. Vegetarians everywhere. Stop! That's my face! Oh, sorry about that. I must have those off for a bit. Mm, uh, you're Mr. Hero, aren't you? The great useless tree told me all about you. So you finally made it to our forest, huh? I've been waiting for so long. I thought I might start to put down roots. Welcome to the great deco trees net. What? I made a bed out of leaves just for you, Mr. Hero. It actually looks Take like a bed. Take as long as you like with yawns and zzzz. How much? Oh, I don't want you rupees. You're the great Mr. Hero. I prepared this bed for you ages ago. All I want to do is help you get some sleep. I was waiting for so long. I got really... <sighs> Sleepy. Oh, gee. Shoot, if you can just go to bed anytime you want. I'm you inside know. of a tree. Wait! We're inside of a tree! Why aren't you on fire? Because there's dirt underneath it. Uh, fair enough. Have some pot, head. He jumped for it and missed! <coughs> hey, look, huh? mushrooms! You're here, you're here! I've been waiting for you! The great useless tree was right. He said you would come, Mr. Hero. I thought you might be hungry, so I went out and gathered a bunch of forest mushrooms for you. Uh -huh. Welcome to the sports store. Mushrooms are delicious, suspicious, but never... <laughs> nice. <laughs> Look around, buy something, or would you rather sell something? What is this place? Yeah. We're technically inside the great Tiku tree stomach, you know. Try not to think too hard about it. Yeah. We all decided to open shops in preparation for your visit. So the great useless tree would not set up shop here. I mean, he let us set up shop here. <laughs> but you're a lot bigger than us, so it probably feels a little cramped for you. Anyway, take your time and enjoy shopping. And don't go looking for any slingshots. We don't have any. You should grab those restrooms. Yeah, but they're kind of expensive. Well, not really. They're 12 rupees. I'm saving my money! Grab the hearty truffle, at least. Yes, I will grab this. I'm a rupee pincher, dang it! I, have I got lots to buy! Alright, Robert. Rupees in this game. Well, look what we have here. Hello, Mr. Hero, and welcome to the general shop. I sell a lot of stuff here. Things that I gather in the forest. Things that I don't gather in the forest. Please, choose anything you want, or have you come to sell? I'm good. If there's anything you don't need, please let me see it. I love seeing things from outside the forest. Doesn't that mean he'll pay more for stuff Even outside the forest? Even arrows? Yeah, 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 yeah! <laughs> hey, he has arrows for sale. I'm evil. He has lightning arrows. Oh my god, they have the legendary soup ladle! I can't carry it. It's not worth it. I've already yeah. got a picture. Yeah. Hey, wait a second. Okay. I don't have a picture of an apple! What is wrong? Seriously? Wow, you? wow, you are the best! No. Okay, uh... I don't have a picture of an arrow! I have a bundle of arrows, at least. How about this? Nope, don't have that either. Some good pictures, though. That's the thing I like about shops. Free pictures. Basically. Ah, uh, that's, that's a bed. I don't need a picture of a bed. That won't get me anywhere. Razor Shroom. You haven't seen that many, so that's not too surprising. We know! My battery is low. Sure, I bet the hearty truffle was the only thing you haven't gotten a picture of. I'm sure I don't. I could just throw yeah. one down, though. You have one. You took one early on. Leave it to Maka! Welcome, Mr. Hero! We're so excited you're here! If you need to know anything about these woods, just ask Maka! 
Or you can climb up here if you want to speak to the Great Useless Tree! About the forest. <laughs> the highlights here in Korok Forest are the Great Useless Tree and the Sword Pedestal, of course. Although the Great Useless Tree probably isn't very happy about becoming a tourist trap. Anyway, we've recently ducked out the inside of the Great Tika Tree, don't think about it too hard, in anticipation of your arrival. You'll find a place to rest and a bunch of other useful things there that you could easily gather on your own. And then there's the Sword Pedestal. Have I mentioned the Sword Pedestal? The SWORD THAT SEALS THE DARKNESS! Which needs no introduction, rests here. The Sword Pedestal, by the way, have I mentioned the Sword Pedestal, is the center of the forest. And not the Great Deco Tree. Don't ask me why. If you stand on the pedestal and look around, you'll be able to understand most of the paths in the forest, except the ones you can't see. The bean lamps act as landmarks. You'll want to familiarize yourself with them to make it easier to find your way around. And if you get turned around, you can always THANK THE FOG! I mean, you can always head back to the sword pedestal. Did you need something else? Um, how about that sword pedestal? THE SWORD THAT SEALS THE DARKNESS! To be wielded by you and you alone, and every other incarnation of you before. You've finally found it! But you don't have the health for it, man. You need to... <clears throat> get a life! Ba -da -ba. How did you like the Lost Woods? Did you get... lost? Oh! Well, you obviously made it through because you're here! Did you need anything else? How do I leave? You want to leave the forest? But why? It's perfect here! Just kidding, I know you have to leave sometime. Who else is going to save Hyrule? If you head east of the SWORD PEDESTAL! Have I mentioned that yet? Yes, by the way, have I mentioned that? There will be a sign on your right! Climb up the hill on the right side of the sign, and you'll see an ogre tree! If you just climb right into that tree's mouth, you'll be eaten alive! And you'll be digested and shot out at the entrance of the forest! Don't think too hard about it. We set it up this way because even us Koroks don't like to walk through the Lost Woods if we can avoid it. I did not know about that. Did you need anything else? Bye. If you have trouble with anything in these woods, just ask Maka! So, anyway. Time to pull a sword from a tree! Alright, ladies and gentlemen, this is it. This is when I finally get a horse's ass out of my face. You. Go. Go. Get out of here. No one does to see that. Okay. <clears throat> As I was saying before, it's time to pull sword. Here we go, guys. That's it. <laughs> Fill that rage meter. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> Fail!